Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create a rusty iron texture. First of all, you need to download some uh, rusty iron pictures from the internet. I found some on unsplash.com, but uh, you can find them on Google too. And uh, you can use um, concrete texture too. This is a concrete and this and this. Okay. First, we are going to take each one of them uh, and uh, image trace them. So select the first one, image trace, click on image trace, and this is the result. And then expand. Okay, now uh, select the magic wand and right click on the white place to delete all the whites from this new vector so click on white and press delete and now what we have left is only the black part okay let's try another one let's try this let's make a copy let's try this and image trace this has a lot of white and it only remained with a few spots of black but that with that uh, will work too so image trace expand click on magic wand white and delete okay let's try this one image trace this has a lot of black I'll try to do something go here and uh, choose uh, three colors and then now we have three colors and I'm going to expand select the magic wand and delete one color I'll delete this color and play now I deleted everything. Okay, let's try again. Magic wand. No. That doesn't work, so I will ungroup and I will delete them manually. I'll delete this. Okay. And this. And this. Okay, now I'm satisfied with my result. I select everything and go to Pathfinder and select Unite. Now I have only one color. Okay, I'll put this aside too. Uh, now let's try mm -hmm, this. No, this one. make image trace hmm I like that I will let it be like it is so press expand select magic wand and delete the white okay now I'll try it with this one again expand no not expand image trace again three colors because that have that uh, have a lot of uh, black in it so go expand right click on group and again delete some areas zoom in if you cannot do it just to delete some colors as you like and 
Let's try with magic wand. No, it deletes everything. I die and I don't want that. Okay, delete, delete, delete. You can delete by left click, right, init and transform. I don't know where it uh, delete button, but try with delete from your keyboard. Okay, delete, delete. Now select everything in Pathfinder Unite. Mm. I like it. I have one, two, three, four, five. I think this is enough. So now I will choose some colors from this texture. So I'll create some squares. One, drag, keep pressed Shift and Alt and drag down. And then press Ctrl and D. Ctrl D, Ctrl D, Ctrl D, Ctrl D. One, two, three, four, five, six colors and choose some colors from here this blue this color this color you can choose whatever color you want and you like okay this color and this color okay Now I'm going to need a background col uh, color, so I'll go to Rectangle tool and with left click from here, I'll create background for our texture. And I will uh, choose this color. Okay. My artboard is five five zero zero on four zero 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 five thousand five hundred on four thousand pixels. So I will uh, resize all of my uh, texture like my artboard. Okay, why? I don't understand why it doesn't work anyways. Range build font. I'm going to do it manually. Like that. Okay, first one. I'm going to change the opacity from 100 to 50. And change the color. Next, this one. Orange print front, resize it manually, change the color, and change the opacity to, I don't know, 20 or 30. Let's try 30. Okay. Next texture. Orange print front, change the color and the opacity to 60. Now the other one, orange print front, resize it, uh, change the color, this, no, let's try this to. 25 and the last one orange blink front resize it and choose that color or that color 50% you can duplicate this Press shift and down, drag down, press shift, and from here we're gonna turn it around, 
or you can do it like right click transform and reflect and vertical okay range print the front 65 percent you can play as you like with the opacity i'm gonna make another duplicate of this one rotate it 90 degrees and i'll put it on the top and change the color to mm, this and just 40 percent mm. let's choose more 70 percent make another duplicate press shift and rotate it and press vertical vertical align button that looks nice i don't know if i like the background color let's change it a little hmm that look nice that doesn't look nice that look nice that okay let's choose that color now you can play with the opacity let's increase the opacity of this one okay let's increase this one I like it I like I like how it looks in this one hmm if I increase the opacity now that doesn't look so good let's decrease it change the color let's change let's choose this color that looks nice Okay, select the all group and shift and alt and drag it down. Let's try another one. Uh, let's choose another another colors. Let's choose from this one. This color. Just select with the eyedropper and a color because every color will be different okay now let's change this a little group press uh, shift rotate it I don't like how it looks let's leave it like before press ctrl and z to back uh, backwards to go backwards okay right click on group and first first let's uh, select the background okay choose that color next Okay, let's select that color.
I need a yellow, a bright yellow. Okay. Again, this color. Have this dark color and this one. Let's change. Hmm. Select this and go to twenty percent. Hmm. That looks nice too. Hmm. It's better like that. Yeah, so this is how uh, you can create a rusty iron texture in Adobe Illustrator. Thank you for watching and if you enjoyed this tutorial, please subscribe and share it with your friends. Thank you.